Dynamic Character Animation Mastery in DAS Studio is an intermediate to advanced course, but I believe that even an absolute beginner can catch on to this, knowing a few basic things. Animate 2. I use the full paid version of Animate available at DAS 3D under the vendor Go Figure. In order to perform all of the tasks in this course, you'll need this. DeForce. DAS Studio has DeForce Cloth Simulator built into it. Many products come set up for use with DeForce, and with practice, patience, and a bit of how-to research, we can turn other items that are not made for any kind of simulation into DeForce ready garments or hair or something else entirely. DeForce and all that it can do goes far beyond the scope of this course, though I encourage its use throughout and I even demonstrate it in the full workflow of Part 1. For more about DeForce and its use, DAS 3D's Help Section Tutorials can get you started, and most everything I know about DeForce was learned through various DeForce products that I purchased from DAS 3D that came with instructions and tips. Keyframe Animation While we do manipulate keys in this course, this course is not about keyframe animation but using motion capture data from AniBlocks, which are created for use with Animate, whether we have the free or full version. That said, we are actually using keyframe animation in combination with motion capture to make our animations shine, even though we're not covering the actual processes that define keyframe animation as the process for creating the main motion. Graph Editors. With the full version of Animate 2 activated, we have two graph editors in DAS Studio. One in Studio's Timeline tab, and one in Animate 2. However, this course is actually about replacing the use of graph editors almost if not completely entirely, with custom tools we make from our own figures. So, while I do discuss Studio's graph editor a bit, this course does not go into detail teaching how to best utilize it, and we don't cover the Animate Graph Editor at all. Genesis 3 and 8 Face Controls I demonstrate how I use the Genesis 3 and 8 Face Controls product at DAS 3D, but it's not essential to complete the course. I must say, however, since I've started using it in a manner described in part one of this course, my character animations have never looked more realistic. Hey there, I'm D'Artan Beck. I began my digital art journey painting game tiles for tabletop fantasy games, and then as a texture artist for 3D game characters for a worldwide gaming community from which I have received several Hall of Fame awards. This all immediately sparked my desire to create digital animations in the form of movies or shorts, and I've been dedicated to that pursuit ever since. As a DAS 3D published artist, I have released several Environ kits for Carrera software, specifically designed with animated movie makers in mind, and released two character animation packs. Even more than creating DAS 3D content, I have a special love for helping and inspiring others, often learning answers myself just to help answer people's needs. I'm currently animating using DAS Studio and Carrera software, and I'm having a lot of fun and success with it. DeForce and iRay are my friends, and I love to share my experiences to help others succeed as well. My tools of the trade are fairly minimal, which lends to a, a simple to manage workflow, but I'm always happy to introduce something new if the workflow would benefit from it. DAS Studio. 
Carrera 8.5 Pro, Project Dog Waffle Howler, Affinity Photo, Da Vinci Resolve, Hit Film are my current main setup, along with Action VFX, Particle Illusion, and Music Maker Premium. I'm also a performing musician and have done my fair share of public speaking, which lends well to giving presentations. In learning digital art and animation on my own, I understand how hard it can be to resolve even the simplest things when you're first starting out, so I maintain an open invitation to just ask. This has worked well in allowing me to help many artists from all skill levels to keep pushing forward with their digital art endeavors. When I visit the forums and see someone asking how to animate in Daz Studio, the overwhelming response I've been seeing is that you cannot, and that you should be using Blender or some other professional animation software to get the job done. Well, it may be true that this might be the best professional route to take if you're working in a professional studio, but those aren't the people that are asking these sorts of questions. In this course, I'll be demonstrating how powerful Daz Studio can be as an animation studio. The reality is, when you take your Daz figures into another animation software, in order to start animating, you'll have to go through an entire process of getting your figure set up to work, even if you're already familiar with that software. If you're not, well, there's a whole new set of challenges and time that could be otherwise spent doing what you love to do, animating, having fun making animations. If you come from another software that has traditional animation features, Daz Studio doesn't appear to be a very capable solution at first, but it is very capable. And this method actually feels easier, even faster, once you adopt this simple new workflow. Daz Studio includes easy to use tools that allow us to add our own custom controls to any figure. And once they're made for the base figure, they'll work on all characters that use it. This extra effort will be the main focus of this course, along with how to put it to good use to make truly wonderful animations in Daz Studio in an organic and dynamic sort of workflow. I think you'll agree that creating your own custom controls for your Daz figures is a lot easier to handle than having to learn a completely new software package, and we'll have the magic of being able to use Daz figures with their materials and render them in Daz Studio using iRay, Octane Render, or 3D Light. So buckle up. Get ready to become a master at dynamic animation within Daz Studio.